Hello everybody, Nate here. I've got the horrible lighting right now because I'm going to show you a gear setup that you can use for any of your YouTube videos. All right, let's go. So here's the basic principle I'm looking for here. Um, we're looking for a home base, a place that you can come back to over and over again to record your videos. And for a lot of people, that'll be in their home. It'll be somewhere where you can just set something up and basically leave it because we're looking to avoid having anything where it takes a lot of time to set something up. So let me just show you this one real quick as an example. Gear wise, you're looking at some sort of camera, a tripod, some sort of lighting, some sort of audio, which I have right here, some sort of place, whether it's seating or standing, and then some sort of background. So I'm gonna walk you through each of these. Okay, so first of all, camera, this one is recording right now, say, Hi. <laughs> so this one's recording right now. Um, this is by no means what you need to start a channel. In fact, this is fairly advanced and we are using this because we're at the point where we're looking to up level a lot of our, our content. But this could be any camera, any phone even. You can just get a tripod, set it up on a phone. If you are using your phone, get a tripod and get a mount that has the, um, the arm, the attachment to put your phone on it. And then you're gonna set your phone up. And then principles here for your tripod is you are looking to have yourself far enough away, but if I show you in the frame right here, you're looking to have yourself far enough away that you have a little bit of headspace above you. In fact, I'm gonna save you a lot of headache later on. Most YouTubers that I see that just start off, their framing is a bit more like this, with a lot of headspace where my head is basically at the center of the frame. So really what we're looking to do here is just to take it a little bit, give yourself a little bit less headspace, and there you go, you're golden, don't need to know much more beyond that. Now the other thing I will say, which I have been doing in this video, <laughs> because I've been looking at the viewfinder here, I would say nine times out of 10, Brand new YouTubers do this, and I'm gonna save you the, the headache right now. When you're recording, you are looking directly in the lens because that looks like I'm looking at you right in your eyes versus I'm looking up at the viewfinder. It's even worse if you have a camera that's got one flipped around to the side or on your phone if you're using the, the screen and you're using the front camera on your phone where you can see yourself because what you'll see yourself doing is going like this the whole time. You'll see your eyes going over and nine out of 10 new YouTubers I've seen will do this. Just know right now, you're looking right into the lens, right in the black heart of the lens, and you're, you're picturing whoever you're talking to there. That'll save you a lot of grief later on, later on when you look back at your videos and say, why did I look so weird? A lot of times, it's because you're not even looking at the camera, you're looking off to the side. Okay, so you've got your camera, you've got your tripod. Now let's talk lighting here. This is a pretty basic one. If you go to incomeschool.com slash tools, um, this is the one we recommend, it's a newer here. It's pretty basic, pretty cost effective. What I've done with it is I've paired it off to one side with the natural light from the window over here to show up on my face so that you can see here in the frame, I've got the uh, kneewer over here, I've got some natural light going on over here, and it lends to a, a pretty good look. Now, do you even need an additional light like this one? Most of the time, you don't, because if you position yourself right, you've got the natural light and it's reflecting well on your, on your uh, face, you don't even need it if you're just starting off. The issue there is that often then you're reliant on whatever natural light is going on. And remember what I said about a home base, it's you want to be able to record wherever you are, whatever time of day it is. So getting a dedicated light or a lighting system, a few different lights can actually greatly benefit you in that case. Okay, let's talk about well, I'm pulling this out here. Let's talk about sound on your videos. In most cases, if you're in a fairly sound dampened room, the uh, microphone that's built into the camera will be sufficient. Um, it, if, if you have a phone, a lot of times phones are built to record, you know, phone conversations and such. So a lot of times they're pretty good. In the case that you're not in those situations, there's two things you can do. One, you can either dampen the sound, which I'm gonna show you here in a moment, or you can get a more dedicated lav mic. Um, these are the ones also incomeschool.com slash tools. Uh, these are the Tascam DR10Ls. We use these uh, daily, multiple times a day. They perform very, very well. And so when you're editing, you just use this, sync it up with the audio from your camera, and you have much higher quality audio. Let me show you a few sound dampening options here. So if I go over here, this, is just a sound dampening board. We just bought it for super cheap off of, uh, I don't know if it's Craigslist or something. Um, but this, all it is is a bit of foam. We put some black fabric over it. You don't necessarily need to do something like this. In fact, there are even better options like these curtains. After we installed these curtains, the sound in the room went significantly more what's called dead, so it's not very echoey. That was very beneficial to have these curtains. The other thing we've done is we put a rug in here. You can see behind this whole rug because the whole thing, I mean, there's hard walls, there's hard floor, there's hard ceiling. That is a recipe for disaster unless you intentionally dampen the sound. So I've got some more dampening boards over here. I'm gonna hang them up on the wall here. Um, but the biggest thing is anything big and soft and cushy, you can put up curtains. You can even just hang curtains on your wall. 
Um, anything that you do that way will greatly improve the sound of your home base. All right, one more thing I want to show you here, and this is just a few basic background principles. I know we cover this elsewhere, but this in here, when you're recording, what you're often looking to do, you're framing yourself, you've got some sort of seating position, and then as much as possible, you want some space behind you, and you don't want to be directly straight on. You'll notice right here, this is not directly straight on, it's actually slightly angled, and that lends so that in the background, it gives it a bit of variety, but also makes it so that uh, it's not so flat looking. And so if you have a gap behind you, it'd be even better if I had additional space here, but if you have a gap behind you when you're recording, it allows the camera to focus on your face, the focal point of your, of your recording, and the background is interest, but it's slightly blurred so that it doesn't draw people's attention and doesn't look like it's on the same plane as your face. So keep that in mind as you're setting up your home base. Give yourself some space and try not to square yourself directly against a background.